A reflective device. Hmm. There's no mirror shield, unfortunately, so we have to make do with this thing. And the game keeps it simple by not uh, forcing you to do the angle correctly. Light here. Also, wait, is that okay? It is for reflecting. I guess we have to use this thing here then. It makes sense. going back and forth but can we do this how do I I wish I could get a good view I can't It's not even over. Hmm. Uh, I see now. I guess I'm supposed to do something like this. It was already put in place, I guess, but uh, let's refine the position a bit, I guess. So. No, it doesn't match. It's not quite aligned. Would this be close enough? It has to be. It's not. What if it was further away, like this? Maybe that would work then. The thing is, uh, then I, I, you have to question whether or not it'll reach. Hmm. To be quite frank though, could I seriously not just leave it like this? No, it always tips over. Come. Hmm. Well, I guess that's why there's a big uh, crate right here then. I was wondering what the hell is the purpose of this thing. Well, it could help keep this thing position if you attach it properly that is like this 
Good enough. <laughs> Good enough, indeed. And then I'm gonna get a reward that's not even worth it. Well, at least I can keep this. Now, what's with all the enemies here? Oh wow, one hit. this thing supposed to like how is it able to actually stay uh, upright kind of oh because it's got something behind it the mirror club that makes sense That's the ending. Huh. Honestly, not very difficult. Like, I, I bird brained for getting the optional chest, but it was kind of generous with the lights here. Pigeon. Oof. For a second there, I thought I was about to jump off into my doom. Sorta, of, kinda. And now I have to place the stain back in position, but first... Let's see what this scene offers. And what? I kind of want to offer this up. Yes, five of them. Give me everything you have. Yep, literally everything you have. Sled. Mirror. Steak, yeah. Steering stick, nice. And a beam emitter? Yeah, I think we hit the jackpot here. Sled in particular is basically a platform. Oh, and this this thing never runs out, apparently. At least from what it looks like. Regardless, uh, let's see if we can reach the uh, luminous, luminous stone isle over there. I 
like that. Beam me up, Scotty. That wasn't that. <laughs> Farish over there? No. That's an enemy. Hello. There's another dispenser here. And what's that yellow thing? Pointing out here? Oh, down there. At least it's pointing down there, but I think I was meant to point at something else. Maybe a shrine in the distance. Well, anyway, this dispenser, what does this hold? Yep, there's my smaller ones. And I didn't want to use that, but whatever. I see rockets. Got small wheels. No wings still. Kind of want to see where which one which one of these dispensers drops wings. Oh, there's a steward right here apparently. Never mind, he's decayed. What the hell? There's supposed to be a shrine here, but it's missing. Apparently. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. The South Hyrule Sky Crystal. Interesting. And the uh, shrine is directly connected to it somehow. What does this do? Gives me a passage all the way to the crystal, that's what it does. And we do it like this. Can I carry this? I can. I think it's faster to move like this and I don't think I didn't notice that thing down there by the way. Is that seriously a chest floating in midair? Although it's connected to this aisle, so I guess if I just move the aisle in the, pro the proper position, that would uh, actually make things function properly. Anyway, here's your stupid crystal. Now the shrine itself will appear. So this is a blessing shrine now. Turn gray. 
Yep. And then it'll open up. Give me your blessing. Yep. If there was an actual challenge after that, that would be kind of uh, overkill. Ooh, diamond. Nice. Now, let's get that treasure chest. And this aisle actually switch back into this position, so that's uh, cute. We can see that chest is right there. So we have to... This, I guess. I think the chest should be in position on the other side now. Close enough. <laughs> can I just open it actually? Whatever. You could probably just uh, hit it with an arrow uh, while it drops down from the sky, follow it all the way to the bottom. And old map, where does this show? Um, I have not gone there yet. Okay, can we see Farish? Farish nearby? Obviously, it wouldn't be nearby here, but you know. Oh, we could also fight that thing down there. <gasps> we can! Not that, not that. Uh, this should be good enough. And hopefully Farish isn't gonna mysteriously teleport away or some stupid nonsense like that. It's, cu it's cute that he's painting the picture, but I don't care. I'm here for the dragon. The dragon that is still moving even though time is not flowing. Yeah, yeah. Balls of lightning. Cute. Give me your claw. Where's it gonna land? Ow! Barrage's claw. Perfect. So, a spring of power is. Uh, a spring of courage is right here. So.
Finally, we can rest restore the goddess mother statue. Whatever that means. Probably just gives me an amiibo costume. Uh, hold. Drop. Now we have to go there to see what's going on. The Mother Goddess statue. Are we going to have to fight the mother goddess? Also, apparently we can befriend dogs. I'm more of a cat person, though. I kind of wish there were cats. And I haven't seen a single cat in the game. Very strange. Hey, she got back up. And she's shining now, too. How did she do this? I have no idea. To be fair, we didn't check in between the offerings, so maybe she was getting back up as we were making the offerings. <laughs> Kindly reorganize your stuff so that you have space to take this sword that I'm about to give you. Alright, give me the sword. Oh, is it the gilded sword? From Majora's Mask? It won't make much sense for it to be that sword specifically, but I would like it. White Sword of the Sky. That's Phi 0 0.9. <laughs> That's literally Proto Master Sword. Seriously, it, it is literally just Proto Master Sword. <laughs> so this is basically an amiibo reward, kinda. Does it have anything special? Like, what would make it special if it was indes indestructible or something like that? That's what would make it special, but I'm starting to think not. Like, I'm starting to think that there's literally nothing about it that does anything. Oh, this is... Is this Sonya's grave? I think it might have been Sonya's grave. And I just took all the Sundalions that grew around her. <laughs> I found them all. So, will this actually allow me to uh, go into the ruins, maybe? That would be nice. And I want to go by here, but... It just kind of leads back up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, so... Where... Where to next? And you know what? I want to I wanna find that treasure. Let's stay up here first. Huh, I'm just realizing the... What are they called? Bright Bloom Seeds are still active down there. And I've dropped them like hours ago. 
It's kind of surprising that the game keeps track of this kind of stuff for very long. It's a very cool touch, I will give the game that. I just, I just don't think it's that necessary either. Anyway, yeah, we'll definitely have to drop down. Canyons mine. Yep. Tunic of the Hero. That's Zelda One Tunic. Well, that's that, I think. <laughs> How much else to it? Hmm. I'm literally at a loss of what to do next. Because there's so many things I could do, but... Uh, you know what? I kind of want to do this. Jesus. Yeah, okay. But there's also this thing that I kind of want to check out. So, you know what? Let's go here. We're going to go check out that cave that's pretty clearly a Yiga cave. See if it leads into a chasm or a treasure or something. Then we'll go into the floating northern island. And after that, Gorons. No, just kidding. I actually, what I actually want to do after that is, I want to fight the Fire Gliok in Lake Helia's Bridge. And we've already jumped on this well. So yeah, Lake Helia is yeah right here. There is a Gliok on this bridge. Let's fight it. Because I imagine it's le easier than the Thunder Gliok and Frost Gliok. It's like, it's probably the first Gliok that you have to fight. Or that the, the devs expected you to fight. So I, I'm hoping it's not that big much of a challenge. <laughs> and if it is, well, I've got a whole bunch of equipment ready for it. Now let's break the Master Sword right now, because she needs to recover. There we go. Oh, acorns. I don't need me so many gourds. I need three of them, apparently. So let's cut down some more trees. <laughs> Using this. Interesting. I think the Master Sword has an attack power of 20 or something. Whatever the case. Good time. Yep. 
Yuga Clan Marita Branch. Should I, should I be pretending to be a Yiga clan member? That's a duplex ball. I kind of want to use the... Yeah, this is like final boss bow right there. This one's also very strong, but it's a generic bow, so whatever. Wait. Ooh. I guess these are cutscene people. That guy did not deal that nearly enough damage. He has much of a threat as the other one. You weren't standing on that. Dropping off of the mouth of that villain. Tolan, not Lillen. <laughs> now what? I'm gonna make him drop his weapon. Oh, he can disappear too. Oh, I don't think these guys can drop their weapon. They're a specific, specific program not to drop them. So I guess there's multiple Yiga clans, Yiga clan camps on the overworld that are specifically, like, they're, they have a tailor ca on, captured, and we can free them to uh, get Yiga clothes ourselves. I wonder if that would work against, uh, what's his name, Koga. For a second there, I thought that thing had uh, bananas inside of it, but no, it was just topaz. Huh. He just let the uh, secret out. Follow the eyes of the frog. continue by here? It does. Either that or this was just where the, the thing was. the frog. 
Forget anything about that. Ma! Man, if only the Master Sword was not uh, broken. <laughs> now we got the tights. Just need the mask. I guess she has different dialogue if you uh, actually manage to. Uh... Hmm, Earthwake. I wonder if we can be taught that technique. So one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if this cave is moves any further. Like if there's any more to it. It's not like I have any more reason to stay here though, so whatever. Um what is it that I wanna do next? Oh yeah, this guy. Dinral? No, that must be Farsh again. Well, Farsh is off to get uh, a visit into the depths, I suppose. What am I currently... What was I pointing there again? I can't remember. I mean, I could just warp back here if I want to check again, but uh, for the time being... Red is for this guy, and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, the, the other quest that I wanted to do. That thing all the way up there. What is that thing supposed to be over there? Oh, it's one of the things! That's right! I have to take a picture of this. Uh, also, I can do a self-portrait. I forgot about that. I can take a picture of my bow! Picture of the Knight's Claymore. Yeah, you use the control stick to do different expressions. This is the most emotion you can make Link show in this game. Despite all the revelations, he doesn't seem to be that broken up about Zelda's current fate. I don't know if we can see her, by the way. Like she's a light dragon right now, but uh. Can we actually see her and do something with her? For some reason I thought there was a shrine over there. Alright. We're coming to get you, Gliok. Fire Gliok. Uh, if it is a fire Gliok that actually causes damage over time, that would actually be quite problematic. 
I would definitely have to ditch the battle if it causes overheat. Because I don't think I have something that uh, protects from that, do I? Oh, I do. Got a few, actually. Well, we'll see. Also, I don't know what's up with the whirlpool right there. Hi. Flame Gleok, please. Oh yeah, unbearable heat. And instant kill. What's the bow that uh, has more range if you charge? This one? Yep. Okay, I guess we have to use this bow to keep our distance. God damn! So much damn range! How the hell am I supposed to deal with that? It's one head down. God damn, I... I don't like how the lasers track you like that. <sighs> oh hey, just in time, Fly. I need help. Are you kidding me? So it can't, the, the heads can restore themselves. Oh my god. You know what? Forget it. This is this is not this is way tougher than I expected. Gleox are shockingly difficult to deal with. They deal so much damage just for one taps. You have to have tons of armor. You have tons of let's say they're basically final boss like not final boss but end game enemies. Either that or I just have to dodge and not get hit. But it's honestly more difficult than it looks, especially on a bridge like that. You can't just keep running in one direction. The, the lasers they fire eventually reach your location. And the solution is to either be behind a wall or to jump over it on the right time. And guess what I... Well, I don't, I don't exactly have a wall to protect myself with oh, right there, now do I? So Gleox are going to have to wait until later, until I have way more hearts and way more defense. Hmm. Let's go redeem our light stuff right now. Whoops. Didn't actually mean to press B. Just need three more of these and that'll be it. Unless they, for some reason, added a fourth bar for stamina. All the final boss needs is to be a Gleok and I won't be able to beat it. <laughs> hmm. 
gonna have to cook some more stuff. I wonder if you hold, if you drop or hold a banana in a fight with a Yiga, they will actually get distracted and try to go for it. Hmm. Something to try. Well, anyway. I should have the amount of s enough stamina to be able to reach the isle now. You know, assuming I don't get uh, sniped from midair. I think I don't have any fairies anymore, by the way. So I'm in very real danger. Also, there's apparently something to do here. I have to take a picture of this stuff right now. No. What's the quest that I was involved in this thing? Investigate the Typhla runes. Ah. Uh, okay, so this is a gradual quest, I guess. He just hasn't found another rune or something. I'm surprised there's no mailing system for this game. Because that would be a way to like uh, give you like uh, additional objectives after you think you're done with a quest. And that thing right over there, that flower shaped thing, that's probably another one of the many, many uh, thingamigs involving uh, the different uh, slabs that you have to find. I'll take a picture of it now. Well, interestingly enough, this one's just gonna drop straight to the ground, and... Hello? Oh god, it's going right into the chasm! No! I still have heat resistance, I'll be fine. That's super cool that it did that, though. Uh... Just in case. Oof. Super cool that it did that, but, uh, geez. Well, we know that there's a shine right around here. I guess I'll go get it. Uh, just in case, though, I'm gonna heal. Yep. What? This is the wall. Come on. Throw it. Yeah. Okay. Not that. No, 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 you didn't see anything.
Ah. At least Tolan's really good at uh, getting rid of these guys. <sighs> Not these guys though. Oh yeah, th th this makes perfect sense that this is blocked off. Like having the minimap only display uh, the uh, overworld probably helps finding the light route. Do it there. So that means I probably don't need this anymore. Because I can see it with my own two eyes. And I can see the one beyond that too. <laughs> That being said, the one over there is probably like I need heat resistance, probably. Because it's uh, near the Wolden Death Mountain place. Oh, interesting. This right here. You can't go here, you just have to enter from here. Huh. Well, I'm kind of tempted to try to connect uh, these areas. And then there's that creature right there, you know what? Let's try to fight that creature. Not really. I struggle with uh, the um, the gl Gliox. So I might struggle with that thing, especially because I have even less of a, an idea of how to fight that thing. So let's wait a bit longer. And where was the light route that I saw? Like we have a. Reference point? No, we don't. I see a lot of red over there. Probably too hot. Probably because there's lava flows. Also, those enemies saw me somehow. That's the eager. <laughs> Not that you noticed me, I don't care. Okay, our goal is set. <laughs> That's a rare talus. Or just a stone, t uh, luminous stone talus. Uh, we need extreme resistance. The hell? It's not enough. <laughs> wow, it's it's not enough. The heat is straight up too unbearable to survive. Even with heat resistance. Heat resistance only works for... Um, uh, the desert, probably. That's disappointing. Well, what I... And I guess it means we have to go back here now. It was super interesting that we had to go all the way into the chasm to follow that uh, 
tablet to get a proper picture. But uh, I mean, if you were fast enough, you probably could have taken a picture before it completely fell. Uh, keep wondering how many sh blessings of light do I have right now? Two. I do two sh sh shrines. I get more stamina. I only need three more stamina vessels to fill out my bar completely. That would be very nice if that happened. very disappointed that despite all my efforts to have a uh, heat resistance for uh, the depths that are near Dead Mountain, I still can't survive there unless I want to do uh, pelt tanking by having a bunch of uh, hearty meals. By the way, speaking of which, I might not have enough stamina to reach that place over there, the maze. No, I think I think I'll barely have enough. But it's all things to told in honestly. Drop this. Why is it? Huh? You can moon jump in here. That is strange. Alright, we gotta do the shrine of light first. Jump what are you doing, Link? This drops down to the abyss below. Ten bears shrine. Gravity and velocity. Okay. Oh, we can make things slow down. And now we need to make ourselves launch up from there. This will deactivate them, right? Yep. Hmm. Was I supposed to bring the ball here? I might have been. Okay. Oh, what? 
Damn, I didn't know. I didn't know, game. I literally did not know. timing. I think if I do this right away, it'll come back. Yep. Okay. And that's it. Not a very long one, that's for sure. optional chest is. Oh well, I guess. Or wait, no, I think I already got the optional chest, maybe? Well, whatever the case, got the light of blessing. No, that's right, the bow that I, that I'm thinking of, that I got, I got on the, the maze itself.